Morning, guys. Hey, um, I'm going to just, I'm, I'm going to try to make this a short video, but I'm just going to repost a vision that I had 2016 about the election. It's been out there since 2016. It went out in November 2016, so you can just watch it, but it's Jesus after the center. 2016 election vision. So, but I'm going to repost it because there's a reason. I had this vision two days after the election, 2016 election, and the Lord spoke to me and said it was concerning America and the election. I saw a flat outline of America. I saw a great wide canyon stretching from west coast to the east coast, dividing the country in two. Then I saw Jesus standing at the at the edge of the canyon on the west coast. He was in the exact center at the top of the canyon. This kept going through my mind, through, through the vision. Jesus at the center of everything we do. Then I saw seven long trees of life with no branches on them. Seven trees on each side of the canyon. Suddenly the trees formed a large circle end to end. One circle on each side of Jesus. He reached out grabbing the top tree of each circle and one in each hand. He shook out the circle of trees and they formed a straight line end to end, each one completely covering each side of America. They were on each side of the canyon. Suddenly I saw branches forming on the trees of life. They grew from both sides of America out across the canyon to the top middle of the canyon. Then I saw vines with brilliant green leaves intertwined in the branches forming every space evenly spaced rows of the branches and the vines grew together for my great bridge over the canyon. I'm not trying to politicize this guys. I'm not telling you to pick a side, vote, don't vote. Um, I'm telling you it's time for us to really pray. Seek God. Get him back in the center of this life because it's not just the politics that are in a mess, guys. There's a bunch of ungodly laws and sinful stuff going on all around. Just, man. I am putting this out. There's another dream that I had. This this one was a vision, but there's a dream that I had. And I've had three of them, and there's been some stuff added to it. That's why I haven't put it out yet. But it's coming out December 1st. For some reason, the Lord told me to wait till December 1st. But there's a storm coming to America, guys. So, just like I had this, just like I had this vision four years ago, I had a you know, put out another one about praying for Donald Trump and 12, 12 of 18. But I put out there, pray for him as a man that he finds Jesus in all this mess. Just watch that one too. I'm probably going to put the links on here. Um, just please tune into our videos. Um, watch us on Instagram, Facebook, t tune in with Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, um, comments, likes. You can blog with us on JesusIsAliveInAmerica.com. It's a Wix site. A little lame guy is not Wix, but me. So I could use a lot of help. I need a lot of help in a technical computer area. So if you're local here in Dallas, email me. You can email us at JesusIsAliveInAmerica at gmail.com directly. Um, Comment with us, share with us, share these videos if you like it, help us get this out. But really, it's also about being the body. So there's only one head and his name is Jesus. And of course, God and the Holy Ghost and his word. But Jesus is the head of the body that's fitly framed together, guys. We need to just be the body, not to quit trying to be the head. So if you're the knee, be the best knee. If you're the hand, be the best hand. My wife gives me a hard time about this, so there it is. There's my hands. Um, if you're the eyes and you see, if you hear, what's your purpose, guys? Serve the living king. Quit serving all these idols and just stuff. That's coming out, too. That's part of the storm that's coming. And I will end with this. It's not 
that I have some secret sauce that I know the recipe to KFC and you don't, na 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 boo boo. First Peter 20, First Peter 2, 20 and 21. No secret revelation, guys, no secret interpretation. It's for all to share. Guys, we don't get this vain glory that everybody's seeking. It's for him. The world's full of it. Man, it's just twisted up. Isaiah 27 was what the scripture the Lord gave me a few weeks ago about how everything's twisted. Kind of was looking on the news, to, or trying to look on Google a little bit today to kind of see what's going on a little. I canceled my news after having direct TV for, you know, 14 years. I just canceled it because I was like, man, I'm tired of listening to this pollution. Pick a side. It's not really even a side. It's just, you know, I don't want to hear all that stuff. Not just the politics, but all the other stuff, too, that's going along with it, all the trash. But so I'm kind of Googled or, you know, just kind of watch. It would be a little bit more choosy of what I'm in or letting enter in. That's what we have to be careful of. So <clears throat> blast it out, trying to look up a little bit of the you know, the political mess just to kind of see what's kind of going on and just not pollute my mind with it, but at least maybe kind of see. Comedy show, SNL or whatever it is. Saturday Night Live. Man, it's mockery of everything, guys. Mockery of the gospel, guys. Okay? I put out some scriptures. That's all I put out. Here's some good scriptures. And I was censored. Hit enter. And they were pulled. Never even got out there. Guys, it's time for America to wake up. And realize we are in persecution. Yeah, we might not be as persecuted as China and Russia yet. But kind of are. Not kind of. I mean... You don't believe me? Um, go carry your Bible. Go to an airport. Go to a, a public school. Imagine that instead of going to school to shoot people. Go there to preach the word of God. Go talk to them about Jesus. Go to a courthouse. You'll be there five, ten minutes and the sheriff will come up to you and tell you you got to leave or go to jail probably. Most likely. Go to, you know, pick some of these states that are really coming you know or go talk to somebody about some of the other major mainstream issues that are facing america all the perverted stuff and ungodly laws if you went to the school how long do you think you'll last out there if you start standing outside the door preaching about jesus or a mall even So, try it. Let me know. Let the world know. It's time to for us to rise and shine, guys. For the glory of the Lord is upon us. And then read Isaiah 60 and then read Isaiah 60, 22. So, we have to be His light. I'm going to end with this. Was there's just so much the Lord's dealing with me about. That's why, you know, just email me I, or blog with me. I just I've got a lot to share. But so do you guys because it's about us getting our story out there, guys. Second book that I just wrote, Jesus, Christ in you, the hope of glory. How are his story, his choice to be his voice, his feet. It's time to get your story out, guys. And I want to get your story out. That's why I got this blog page. At, I need some help getting it created a little bit better. Help me if you feel led. Pray about it. Who's your source? God, Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and His Word. Don't even listen to me. I'm not trying to get you to. I'm not trying to get you to be a clown or, or think like me or or anything. Or act like me. If I'm in a little, if I'm in error, it's not going to be on on purpose. Of course, I'm not even trying to to be that guy. But if I am, you know. 
share with me. Let me let's hear it. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, it's time for us to lift up the body and, and propel the body and to just be the to be his voice in this dark land. But the, about his voice, this was one thing. There's many to it, but this was one thing the Lord showed me less than a couple days ago about his voice. He said, they're not going to see us in the darkness and we're not going to see them. But they're going to see the light in our life if we're truly Christ. And they're going to hear a voice, his voice in the darkness. And he took me to something natural. And he even says that in the Bible. It's so first natural or I think it's just so it is natural, so it is spiritual. But it's in the Bible. So why would it be natural first and then spiritual? But hey, that's something to study about. But took me to 9-11. And then three stories. One was about a Marine. I think his name was John. The Lord told him to go to the, to, to, the, to the towers where they just had collapsed. And it was late at night. And he was out there. They let him in because he was a, a former Marine. And he went out walking. He has Marine. He even had his you know, Marine gear on. Combat gear or whatever. Not gear, but uniform. Um, started walking across the rubble. Calling out to people. This is John with the United States Marine Corps. I don't know if his name was John. I think it was. Started calling out. Found some people that were buried 50, 100 feet down. They heard his voice. Then there was a couple people, and these are all true stories, guys. There were, it was one, one, they were executives. One, or I think they were executives. One was, anyhow. They were in the tower, one of the towers. One older, kind of older white guy and one kind of older black guy. So maybe that might help some of this race garbage that's out there. He decided to stay. The white guy said, I'm going to stay. I'm going to try to find some people, help some people out here. So he started calling. He couldn't see. Light, lights were out. It was smoky. Couldn't hardly breathe. The older black guy was on the other side of a wall but heard his voice. They had to tear through a sheetrock wall. Helped each other out, got out of the tower just before it collapsed. Then another guy, he was at the Pentagon. I think he was a soldier of some kind. I don't know if he was Navy or Marine. Or, and the building was burning and just had exploded. And he ran in with a flashlight. I think he had a flashlight. But he ran in and started looking for people, calling out to him. They couldn't see him, but they could hear his voice. And that's what we're going to be in this lost and dying world, in this darkness. And it's all over the world, guys. It's not just America. The world's pretty twisted, guys. That's Isaiah 27. Twisted, distorted, convoluted, polluted. Um, the gospel's pretty simple, guys. There's plenty of simple simpleness to it. Go to Corinthians. Yeah, Corinthians 1.18, for the, for the preaching of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but it's life, it's the power of God to those who are saved. So many guys. And we need to be his body. Arise and shine, guys. What's he telling you to do? That's why it says he that had an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit has to say unto the church. There's just so much, guys, to this. And we need to just take a stand. If we, that was another vision that I had. He said, if we stand for him, he'll stand for us. So, last plug about 9 11, I was talking to somebody last night at church. He said, Psalms 91 1. 9 11. Read it for yourself. Man, there's just so many things, guys, that are pretty awesome. And it's time for us as a body to collectively get together. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm just directional. The Lord told me to plow right down the middle. Because I've got some pretty, you know, 
Holiness or Hell, Hellfire, Brimstone, Side, and then there's the other Lucy Goosey. I call I call it Captain Crunch Christianity, but that's just a whole other whole other message. The Hollywood Christianity. Um, you should plow right down the middle. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm just going to be the vessel that he created me to be. I'm directional. I'm not going to change. And he didn't want you to change either. He wants you to change and repent. But he wants you to follow him. So if you're following him, the leading of the Lord, and you're getting this stuff in your secret places, and he's telling you to, what to do, do it. Let's lift each other up. Let's lift, help each other. Let's lift each other up. I, I, you know, some of the stuff that I'm doing, like the Facebook page just blew up, guys. And I apologize to a lot of y'all, but, you know, people are calling. And, I, man, it was kind of burying me alive time-wise. But that's something the Lord told me to do. And so I'm like, okay, God, but I need a little help. So anyhow, let's connect as a body. And quit trying to be the head. Because that's prevalent, unfortunately, especially in the American church. It's the better than mentality. It's in the world too, but it's like I'm way up here and you're way down here. We'll just read Matthew 20, guys. I'll end with that, okay? So we love you guys. Let's read Matthew 20 same guys <clears throat> quit trying to be something we're not but we are the body of christ and we do need to make a stand in this lost and dying world and we need to be his voice because we're his choice he chose us from the beginning of the world so anyhow tune in uh share my videos with others please or share some of yours or you know i mean i don't know what the connection is guys pray about it. i'm i'm pretty open i'm not gonna i don't like the word inclusion because i'm not i think that's Inclusion and delusion, honestly. It's just a way for sin to enter in. But I'm about the connection of the body of Christ. So, may only be a few or whatever, you know. Let's let's just connect. Maybe you're supposed to connect with somebody else. I don't know. You know? Ma Matthew 22. Don't take it lightly. The marriage supper of the Lamb. The wedding feast. It's prepared. You know, look at some of the other videos. The I got your seat saved. I'm calling. He's calling. Come on. Time to rise and shine, guys, with the body of Christ. Anyhow, we love you. I want to cut this video short. Um, I'm going to try to do, make some more of them. Um, we love you guys. Uh, just, you know... Tune in, blog with us, Jesus is alive in America.com. Email us, Jesus is alive in America, gmail.com. Google Jesus is alive in America. The reason why I put that out there, Jesus is alive in America, is for a statement for America. But Jesus is alive in the whole world, guys. It's not, it, it wasn't to just be, give us the better than mentality because unfortunately, us as Americans got that kind of an attitude. A humble peace is kind of hard for us to. To get to me too guys i'm not this is not a finger pointing judgmental accusatory message because i got to do the same thing you guys do the exact same way there isn't a bunch of different ways i can't create my own we're too busy that's kind of part of the other american culture we're too busy trying to create god and he created us worship him in spirit and truth there's so much guys so anyhow we love you um let's share let's you know just let's be a part of each other's lives and take a stand for the truth in this dark dark evil world because it is evil guys bunches of it out there so love you Talk to you soon.